Okay, this video idea is so random and I just decided to turn on my camera in this moment, but okay. I'm obsessed with music. I'm actually so obsessed with music that I would go as far as to say that music is my number one passion. Even though I don't, I don't make videos about music and I have before, I've made a couple videos in the past about my obsession for Tame Impala and I made one video at the very start of my YouTube channel that was like high vibe music or high vibe artists that I like to listen to. But that's about it and I haven't really done anything else. I guess I never do because that's not really the theme of this channel, that's not what I typically talk about. And also the main reason I don't is really because I can't put the songs in the videos without getting copyrighted and I think that's the most frustrating thing ever because my channel would be so lit if I could use the music that I actually wanted to. So I would love to make like playlist videos or like songs that I'm obsessed with right now and stuff like that but I never do because I can't actually put the song in the video. I don't even know what I'm titling this video. I just decided to turn on the camera because well I just filmed a video about authenticity, being authentic and I just felt a little nudge inside me to talk about music right now because my passion for music is insane. Nothing lights my soul on fire the way that music does. Nothing makes me feel the way that music does. Music makes my life so much more magical, especially certain artists, certain albums. So I think I'm just going to be going through my Spotify today and sharing with you some of my favorite artists, some of my favorite albums or songs and why I'm obsessed with them. And do you care? Probably not. I don't know if anyone cares to be quite frank, but I'm making this video anyways because I feel like it and that's the point of this channel is to create a safe space for others and myself to talk about things that we may not feel safe to talk about in the real world. I don't feel like I know that many people that relate to my obsession for music and my obsession for certain artists. But that's what the internet is for. So if you're subscribed to me for my regular content about personal development and self-care and stuff like that, then maybe tune in to the next video because this is not really gonna be about that, but also kind of because I genuinely feel like music and certain artists and certain albums have actually changed my life and have healed me in certain ways. Music is healing, even if it's not like meditation music that we're talking about. Even like a groovy song can be healing because it makes you feel alive. It makes you feel present in the moment. It helps you discover a part of yourself that you may have not known about before. And I think that's part of the reason why I love music so much is because it's allowed me to find parts of myself that I didn't know before. Okay, where where do we even start? I really don't know. Um, okay, an artist that I have to talk about right now, I have to talk about them, is Krungbin. I will spell their name on here because it's a complicated name, but apparently it means airplane in Thai. I don't know, that's pretty cool. But they have like a very groovy, sorry, I don't know how many times I'm gonna use that word in this video, but they have a very groovy, but also dreamy sound. Their music is just such a vibe. It's just feel good music. Like you can put Krungbin on shuffle and any song that comes on, you are going to be vibing. My favorite album is Mordecai. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but moving on, who are we gonna talk about now? Should I even talk about Tame Impala? Maybe. I've already made two videos just dedicated to Tame Impala. I privated one of them because I didn't feel confident. I don't really feel confident in either of those videos because I was still getting used to talking to the camera, so don't love those videos. But if you found me through those videos, hi, I'm still obsessed with Tame Impala, and um, yeah, I guess I'm not going to talk about them in this video because everyone already knows. Everyone already knows I'm obsessed, and yeah, I've already made two videos about them. So the beauty of this video is it's not planned, so I didn't even pre-plan like who I'm going to talk about or what I'm going to talk about. I'm just scrolling through my Spotify right now. So I'm going to talk about Flamingosis. Such a vibe. If you like groovy music, I'm so sorry. I'm going to say the word groovy so many times. If you like Krungbin, you will 100% like Flamingosis. Very feel-good music. Actually, I'm not going to lie, I don't have a ton of their songs downloaded. I only have seven songs 
downloaded, but all seven of those are a vibe and they make me feel alive. Yes, that just rhymed. I really didn't mean to, but that was kind of cool. Let's see, who else am I going to talk about? Um, ooh, let's talk about Poolside. Poolside is so good and I feel like I never hear people talk about them. I don't ever hear people talk about them. Their music is quite possibly the most feel-good music that you could ask for. If you just want to be in a good mood, play Poolside. Okay, this is random, but also if you just like really happy morning, feel-good instrumental music, this is a really good album called Paradise by the Matson 2. Actually, it's nice in the morning, but it's also really nice at night too when you're settling down. It's just like a pretty, vibey, instrumental, jazzy type album. Really love that. Oh, Kate Bollinger. I feel like she's really underrated right now. I feel like maybe she'll get more popular or maybe she already is popular. No, I don't think so. I feel like she's pretty... I don't know. Let's see how many Spotify followers she has or monthly listeners. Okay, she has almost 700,000. That's actually kind of a lot. All of her songs are so pretty and relaxing. I'm obsessed. Probably my favorite album is A Word Becomes a Sound. If you just want to relax in your room, you just want to vibe out, you just want to feel good. I know I've been saying that about everything, but that's because all of these artists and songs really do make you just feel good. Oh my god. Inner wave. Inner wave. I am so obsessed with Inner Wave. They are probably my second favorite artist under Tame Impala, which is saying so much, okay? It's not surprising that Tame Impala is my favorite artist because they have been for years. I don't know if anyone will ever top Tame Impala, but Inner Wave is number two. And that's saying a lot because I listen to so much music. I'm so obsessed with so many artists, but I think I can say Inner Wave is number two. Every song by them is so good. Every song. And I feel like their instrumentals are... There's something about their music that makes them really unique. But also very kind of trendy at the same time. Does that make sense? Within their realm, it's like they use sounds that are very popular and trendy in that realm. But they create music that's so unique in their own way. And it sounds so good. And I already really loved them but they didn't become like my second favorite artist until I heard Apoptosis. This is their newest album. It's probably like six or seven months old now, something around that, but it's so good. It's so good. They have some of the biggest jams on this album, but then the other songs are more chill vibes, but they're so pretty and also the lyrics are so good. And also I looked up what the definition of apoptosis is and it just makes me love the album even more. The definition of apoptosis is the death of cells which occurs as a normal and controlled part of an organism's growth and development. Love that, love that, wow. It's so sad because I bought a concert ticket to see Inner Wave for only $25. $25 after tax. After tax. And this was like, the venue was all GA. Okay, so I could have gotten as close to the stage as I wanted to for $25. But guess what? The same night Flume was playing. Now, I know these are two completely different genres, but I've also loved Flume for years. I honestly love Interwave more because that's what I'm more into, but I've been wanting to see Flume live for so long. So I saw Flume instead. I had to pick one or the other. They were the same night and I'm still sad about it. Who do I want to talk about next? The thing is, I have a lot of playlists that I'm obsessed with, but it's like one song from a bunch of different artists. So... I don't know, I feel like it's not as fun to just talk about like one song because I can't even play it for you. So how much can I actually say to explain that song? Oh my gosh, I'm also obsessed with parcels. I only, I used to only know like a few parcel songs and I was like, wow, they're pretty good, whatever. But it wasn't until the past year that I realized that they're actually so good. And I started listening to all of their albums and all of their music and 
every song is a vibe. And I also feel like they're they're very unique in their sound too. Like you hear a Parcel song and you know it's Parcels. And also their most recent album, let's talk about that. What is it called again? Their album Day Slash Night is their most recent album. And what made this album so unique and what I loved so much about it was how it had very dramatic like interludes and stuff that made it sound like it was a dramatic movie almost. And I just thought that was so creative. Maybe other artists have done that before, but I've never really heard it done before. And it just made the album so beautiful and just like such a masterpiece to sit and listen through. Okay, I'm gonna talk about one more artist, which actually, I feel like all of those artists were kind of the same vibe. Very groovy music, right? But I'm gonna talk about an artist that actually does not fall into that category at all. So their name, I don't know how to pronounce it. I-L, whatever that symbol is called, L-O. I know, I, I sound really dumb for not knowing what that symbol is called. A hyphen? No, I don't know. But they are also an artist where I can play them on shuffle and any song that comes on is so good. Now, I don't know how to explain their type of music. It's just so pretty. It's very like flowy and pretty. It's instrumental. Let me look up if it says like what genre it is. I would love to know. It says the genre is dance slash electronic. It's, it's electronic vibes, but it's pretty flowy, chill electronic. I love listening to this when I'm in nature or doing yoga. It's very good background music for if you are being creative or doing art or honestly just anytime. Like this is good anytime. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to talk about today. This was so random, but if any of you were subscribed to me a year ago, you may remember that I actually did say that I was going to start a music series. So I made like a couple videos talking about Tame Impala but I planned on actually making a whole music series and making many more videos about music and I just never did. And I'm super passionate about the other stuff that I talk about in my videos, but I always wish that I could find a way to incorporate my love for music as well. So even though this is so incredibly off from the theme of my channel, at the same time it's also not because this is my safe space. So let me know if you enjoyed this video in any way. I know it was very random, but hopefully it reached the people that it was meant to. And let me know if you like any of those artists, please. If you check out any of those artists or if you already love them, comment down below and tell me because I love being able to relate to another person about this stuff. Also, feel free to share any music recommendations that you have. Let me know if you actually want to see a music series. It may or may not still be in the works. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully I see you in my next video. Okay, bye.